Hello guys, I'm Amin Levine and in today's video I'll be showing you 5 advanced steps to resolve 100% CPU consumption issue on your PC. Okay guys, for the first step what you want to do is that you want to search for registry editor. After you've opened it, you want to click on the file and then export. With this way, we have a backup from our original registry editor. So in case anything bad happened to your PC, you can just simply restore it. After you've done it, we are good to go to get on a main deal. At the first step, you want to press Windows and R bottom at the same time and type Regedit. After you've opened the Regedit, you want to go to the tab of H key local machine and then click the arrow beside it and select software afterwards. After you have expanded, you want to scroll down and find the policies folder and then click the arrow beside it click Microsoft after that. Expand it again and at this point you want to find Windows. After you find it you want to expand this folder another time as well and just simply look for Windows search. You possibly already have this folder but if you didn't have this folder you want to create a folder and name it Windows search. And as you can see on the screen as I already have this folder I don't need to create a new one. At this point, you want to right click on the new ND Word32 and just simply name this Allow Cortana as you exactly see on the screen. At this point, you want to double click on it and set the value data to zero. It means Cortana is not allowed to perform on your PC and it leads to much faster CPU. Without any further ado, just let's go to the second step. For the second step, you want to click on the Windows search and just simply search for services. After you open it, you want to look for Background Intelligent Transfer Service, or BITS in another word. Then you want to change the startup type from manual to disable, as this task is not important at all and just sending feedbacks to the Microsoft servers, and to mention using a lot of CPU as well. For the next step, you want to right click on the Windows Start Bar and click Mobility Center. When this pop-up showed up, you want to bring the mouse and battery status, and make sure you click on balance and change it to high performance to get much more juice and speed and power from your CPU. And with this very simple step, we are good to go for the next and final step. But before talking about the final step, I need the necessity to announce a disclaimer at this point. This final step will most likely disable the search bar functionality in your Windows. But at the same time, it can be so much beneficial for your CPU and drastically lower your CPU usage. Although you can simply bring it back to normal settings, but I personally suggest you not to change the settings unless you have a real hard time with your PC. For the final step, you want to press Windows and R key at the same time and right reject it. At this point, you want to go to HQ Local Machine Fuller and after that go to system then open current control set folder and go to services at this point you want to press T on your keyboard or scroll all the way down to find time broker as we see it is completely normal taking some moments to find this folder after you have find this folder you want to click on it and then double click on the start and at this point you want to change the value from 3 to 4 as it will completely turn off search functionality from your PC but drastically improve your CPU performance. Although you can simply bring it back to normal by changing the value data back to 3. Thank you guys for your attention and I would appreciate if you can like this video and subscribe to my channel.